Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and if you'd like to apply to be a guest on the show, just head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, so today I have David Feldman on the line. He's a founder of Three Owl Agency, and he's also author of Small by Design, the Entrepreneur's Guide for Growing Big While Staying Small, which just hit the uh, Wall Street Journal and uh, USA Today uh, Today bestsellers list. So, hey, David, welcome to the show and congrats. Thanks, Adam. Thank you so much for having me on. Looking forward to chatting with you today. Oh, yeah, David. So congrats on the success of the new book. Uh, can't wait to get into that, and we'll definitely get into Three Owl Agency as well. Um, but before we do that, we'll start this episode the way that we start them all with our Mission Matters Minute. So, David, we at Mission Matters amplify stories for entrepreneurs, executives, and experts. That's our mission. David, what mission matters to you? Um, the the mission for Three Owl is really something that I celebrated in the book Small by Design, and that really is has become our mission: is um, celebrating being a small agency and you know growing smarter, wiser, and more effective without growing larger. So what that means for my teammates is that they have access to the kind of work that they will have to wait decades to get to at a big agency, deeper relationships with, relationships with the clients faster career growth, more meaningful work. Um, for our clients, that small by design means that they get that white glove service from us and our team truly understands their business and truly feel like partners to them. And for our contractors and vendors we work with so closely, we really feel like true marketing partners and we celebrate their growth and help them grow. So we're, we're all in it together to cultivate Abundance, but not abundance by being very large in size, but abundance in deep relationships and having time to do what matters most and all the while while delivering massive value. And that's great. And I think it's a great, I love, first off, love bringing mission-based entrepreneurs and executives on the line to really share how they do what they do, what they're doing, and you know why it's important to the marketplace. So I love love the concept, love the angle as well. You know, so many people talk about, let's just say, you know, the unicorns of the world and, you know, a lot of business at, at, at this stage, depending, again, not for everybody, but, um, you know, a lot of people are thinking about just how do they grow a business quickly, sell it, or what can they do? Like, it's a lot of it sometimes has to do with the value that they're taking out of the system and out of the marketplace um, and not enough focus in my opinion always on how they're you know adding value back and just this whole concept small by design um, where did that come from like what was the idea behind that because it's different it really started right when the pandemic began um, I had two conversations with our two biggest clients these were like two weeks apart um, and they were the same conversation. Um, they called me and said, David, we want to fire our agency of record, huge company. Mm -hmm. And we want to move all of our work to you because we love that you're small. And I had gone years pretending our agency was bigger and taking on all the trappings of a larger agency, you know, fancy office, hiring a lot of people, et cetera. Um, and, I have really restructured the agency as the pandemic was hitting, and I realized that these clients were actually really excited that we were small rather than wanting to work with us because we were big. So those two conversations led me to thinking, there, there's something here that's really special, and I want to dive into that and understand what we're doing right and share the stories with other entrepreneurs that you don't have to be huge. You should actually embrace your smallness so you can still deliver massive value by being small. So I'm all about sharing my experiences and trying to mentor people and give them the answers I wish I had so they don't make the same mistakes I did. So the book was a really great way for me to process all of that. Mm. And so obviously I want, I definitely want the audience to go pick up that book and we'll put the link in the show notes so that people can. Um, but just, you know, how does somebody, and I know there's a big question, a, a big you know, thesis of the book, but how does somebody grow, you know, sustainably without, you know, letting everything else overwhelm them? Like, how do you stay this? Because I, cause I feel like this has to be an intentional thing that you do. It doesn't happen by accident. 
it, it does need to be intentional. And I think a big part of it is um, going deep with a few people rather than going wide with a whole lot of mm. people. So there's a story in the book called The Cup and the Bowl where – there's this decision between ordering a cup or a bowl of soup um, by this entrepreneur when he was a little kid, and the waiter said, you should order a cup because it doesn't hold as much, but it goes deeper. So I think that's a, very much a part of the thesis of the book. Um, you know, but that intentionality um, is so important. The value really comes from when you are small, knowing that you, having the confidence that you still can deliver a lot of value and and something that we uh, suggest in the book is um, you don't have to have a ton of employees to do it. Um, there's an entire chapter around elasticity where we talk about having an amazing contractor network. Um, and what that really means is we have access as a team to a bunch of superstars who we might not be able to afford to have all of them on our payroll, but having them as part-time or full-time contractors, we certainly can. So um, what was cool was um, in every chapter I interviewed, a successful small by design entrepreneur and not necessarily in marketing. So the guy in the chapter where we talk about contractors has a successful company of 20 plus years and he's got like two dozen contractors, not a single full time employee. And they're incredibly successful. Uh, but as the market ebbs and flows, his overhead is really dependent on how much, on how much work he has. So just by design, he has all these great systems built in. Yeah, that's awesome. And um, I want to spend some time as well on, on your, your agency and the type of work that you're doing. So tell us a little bit more about 3L Agency. 3L is at this intersection of design and technology. So we in-house understand the power of developing a brand, you know, and that's visual identity, all of your language, all of your positioning. And then passing that off to our web design and web development team. So there's this through line of understanding and nothing, nothing really gets lost from that first meeting where you meet with a client, determine what their goals are, figure out how to get them there. And we never just say, great, we're going to hand it off to a web team now. Good luck. We really see it from start to finish. One thing that does for us is um, the onus is really on us to deliver great work internally. So our, uh, does our web design and development teams have really great assets and a very clear vision from the beginning. Um, our clients benefit from that tremendously as well. Um, and what really ends up happening, too, is having a smaller team, it means that I can be present on some of those calls, too, where we talk about not just what's your website going to look like, what's your brand going to look like. When we get into business transformation, um, how many hours are we saving you a week on updating your site? For example, a chain of multi-unit restaurants. Every time you open a new restaurant, which could be every two weeks, how can that be plug and play so all the data is correct, so all my ordering is correct? So we really go from just delivering brands and websites to these solutions that are far beyond that. And that really comes from getting to know the client and asking the right questions. Um, so that's where I get really excited is that just like that area of the unknown unknowns that we help reveal. Um, that's really the true value that we help deliver. So in terms of branding, I mean, lots of, as I mentioned before, lots of business owners and executives uh, listen to this show and, you know, branding comes up uh, pretty often. And I feel like one of the things that people sometimes get, sometimes they don't, is that, you know, even though branding can, you know, it can take some time, right, for it to work, for some of the, some of the you know, fruits of the labor to actually, you know, come out. But to me, it's always worth the wait. Like, what, what's your take on this? It's foundational. Um, we, we have a lot of clients who come to us wanting a new website, for example, mm -hmm. and I'll ask them, that's, that's great. We're very excited to do it. Could you deliver all your brand guidelines? And that's your logo, your fonts, your colors, all of your language, your voice and tone, et cetera. And they're like, oh, we're not sure. You know, we have it, but we're not thrilled with it. What ends up happening? The website mm -hmm. process becomes this really clunky branding process as well, where you're trying to pick the fonts on your homepage by what feels right instead of actually doing the research and having well thought out fonts and colors and um, positioning, et cetera. So what a lot of folks I, we see come to us and have these terrible website design processes, and we realize that they're like kind of trying to shoehorn their brand process into that as well. 
Um, when we do it right, that brand is going to transcend your first, and second, and third websites. Um, doing it right ultimately informs everything that you're doing. And that's from making sure a press release has the right voice and tone to your social media, to your website. So it really informs everything. Um, and clients will always ask, well, how long is this going to take? And I can give them, like, here's a range of timelines, but so much of it, we end up delivering a lot of options for the logo and a lot of options for language. A lot of it is our clients just spending time to think about it and to ask this question. And we love going through revisions, you know, within a you know certain degree to really come to the correct final product. So I love when it takes more time as long as you're iterating. And we love that process because the clients usually come back even after that first workshop and say, we love how you reflected our company back to us. Let's capture that. Mm-hmm. So having a team of experts who listen, and we always tell our clients in our brand workshop, we are here to listen. We're not creating the three owl version of your company. We're creating the correct mm-hmm. version of your company. So we listen, ask a lot of questions. We are never the madman agency that creates your ad or brand and says, ta-da, here it is. We're geniuses. You know, it's this really yeah. wonderful, you know, iterative process. So it takes time, but then when you get it right, everything else actually starts to feel easy. Everything moves faster. When we do a brand right, when we present homepage options to a client, they're like, oh, yeah, we knew it would look like that. We already agreed upon the language and the visual identity. So it makes everything easier, and really every decision you make is correct if it's aligned with the brand that you built correctly. Yeah, it's great stuff. Um, well, David, it's been really, you know, great having you on the show to learn more about yourself, your background, also 3 Owl Agency, and congrats again on hitting the uh, USA Today and also the um, Wall Street Journal um, bestseller list, so great stuff there. Um, small by Design, The Entrepreneur's Guide for Growing Big While Staying Small. We'll put the link to that book so my audience can check it out um, in, the, in the show notes and go pick up a copy. Um, love promoting authors and books. Um, that being said, if somebody wants to learn more about OWL, about 3 Owl Agency, what's the best way for them to follow up and to connect with you and your team? Sure. So our website is 3OWL, that's the numerical 3 owl. Dot agency and the book website is smallbydesign.co. Fantastic. So go pick up a copy of that, Small by Design. Um, and speaking of the audience, if this is your first time listening to a Mission Matters episode or engaging with our platform, we're all about bringing on entrepreneurs, executives, and experts and having them share you know, their mission, how they do what they do, why they're doing it. And really, we're all learning and growing together here. If that's the type of content that sounds interesting or engaging or fun to you, uh, we welcome you. Hit that that subscribe button because we have many more mission-based entrepreneurs and executives just like David coming up on the line, and we don't want you to miss a thing. Uh, David, really appreciate you coming on the show today. Thank you. Yeah, thanks so much, Adam.